What's going on, YouTube? Today, this is RP, and I am RP Vapors, and I am coming back to you again with a review on the Cloudness RDTA from Vapestin. Are we going to like this tank? RDTA? Are we not going to like this RDTA? I don't know. But this is going to be a doozy. I promise. So. This is going to be your main attraction. Your RDTA. And we'll show you that a little bit better off in the, in the close-ups. But here's going to be your packaging. Okay. And it has a goon style deck. Very nice. Cloudness RDTA from Vapeston, and then it starts all over. On the back, you have your scratch and sniffs, verification codes, authenticity. It tells you everything it comes with. And I'll show you the packaging a little bit better in the close up. But today is going to be a very, very good review. I've never done a review like this. And if you've seen my videos, you're going to see why. So, let's head downstairs. We're going to dive into this RDTA. We're going to dive into the packaging. You're going to want to listen. I promise you. So, let's go downstairs. Let's take another look. Okay, guys. Now, as you can see, I've got parts everywhere, things everywhere, and I did that for a reason. I usually clean up my stuff when I'm doing the video, but I wanted you to see all this on purpose. So, before I get into all that, okay, let's take a look at this packaging a little closer, okay? So, you can read everything that this is going to come with, okay? Very nice packaging. At least they did something right. I'm spoiling the surprise. I'm going to shut up. So when you open this, okay, it's going to come with a pack of O-rings. It's going to come with, I think I just threw it out of anger. It'll come with this little baggie here with it'll come with extra screws an extra goon plate and coils and then it's gonna come with a pack of cotton that we all know I don't use so I don't really know what happened to it I don't really care what happened to it okay so let's take a look at this this tank I wanna keep those in shot because I wanna show you guys that so Let's take a, a better look at this. So this is what your RDTA is going to look like when it comes out of the package. Okay. Here's going to be your bottom with your connection pin. And that's really the only thing that's down there. Just the, you know, the CE. Now this is made of stainless steel. Your drip tip is going to be a Delrin drip tip. Okay. Wrapped in stainless steel. And we'll get into that. And this is going to be a top filling tank. So to do that, you're just going to unscrew this top here. Okay. And then you can see your very big, nice size fill up holes. Okay. On the bottom here. And here's your here's your airflow right here. Okay. So very nice it clicks into place so you can count how many clicks you want to do wide open not wide open okay now as you see you saw that move a little bit more so we're going to show you that too okay so right here your tank is going to say open or it's going to say close okay and that's going to be key to this tank because that's going to be key to how you get your fluid down in your wicks okay so open or closed but 
to get down to your actual build deck, you're going to unscrew this cap right here on the bottom. Okay. And then here is going to be your build deck, and you just pull that out. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have a build on here. And then if you want to do your glass, you can even take this apart even further. Okay. There's your glass. And then there's this part. Okay. So there's that. Okay. Now, when you put this all back together, you're going to... There's two notches here on the bottom of your... Thing. So basically your coils will line up perfectly with your airflow and as long as you do it that way you'll be fine and this is going to push into place okay and then you just want to make sure that you put your bottom piece back on and see if it's not pushed into place right your cap won't go back on okay so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to pull this cotton out of here. Okay. We're just going to pull that out. Okay. And we'll clean this up a little bit. So you can see. And in here I have the coils that it came with and these are twisted coils so they're very nice coils oops sorry so they're very nice coils and if you guys have noticed I am running through this review so to put this back together now that you can see you have this notch here okay and you have one on this side if you put your coils even with the airflow it will go back into place as it should okay Or will it? Okay. And you'll put that back together like that. Screw this back on. Now this is a 25 millimeter tank. And it holds 4 mLs of liquid. And it's 60. 60 diameters in height. Okay. There we go putting the wrong one on there so you can tighten that up you put your tank back on this side put your top cap back on okay and then you put your drip tip back on and there it is okay so, like I said, 25 diameters in width, 60 in height, 4 milliliters of liquid. So, we'll go back up on top and finish now, this up. Now, as you guys can see, I ran through that. So, pros and cons of the tank. Well, first, let's go over to the price point. The price point on this tank is about $35. Um, I found it on sub subtanks.com I think um, I'm not gonna put the uh, thing on on I'm not gonna put the website on here I bought this from high tech vapors at $35 okay so it's about 35 bucks no matter where you buy it some places have it at 20 I don't know so pros and cons of this tank and I can't even show you how I hit it so we're gonna do the cons first because obviously the only pro about this tank is it's stainless steel okay that's it the way it looks is the only fucking pro to this piece of fucking garbage so cons cons is the box lies to you this company lies to you on the back of this box and I'm going to read this verbatim 
To cloudness by Vapesten is the revolutionary generation in the RDTA tanks. Using Goon Deck technology, the cloudness supports all sorts of heating elements in the market. With top refill e-liquid flow control and anti-leaking design, it's easy to use, clean, and totally free of any leaking issues. You are fucking liars. Vape cloudness, the only tank you'll ever need. Well, I don't understand that because I can't even use the goddamn thing. I cannot use this. I have gone through a 30 mil bottle and whatever this is, I think 15 mils, maybe 20 mils. Never hit it once. I have tried changing O-rings. I have tried doing wicking tutorials. And I build. Okay? I know how to wick a fucking RDTA. I have the Cloud Beast. It don't leak. I have the Limitless iJoy Plus RDTA. I'll put that on here and show you it fires up real pretty. None of these tanks leak. Not one of them. Except for that piece of shit. Wait. Hear that? So, to sit here and say, this is a leakless system, for me it isn't, okay? I have not been able to hit this one time. So I don't know about the cloud production. I don't know about, you know, the vapor production, the flavor production. I don't know. I wish I could tell you guys. I wish I could tell you the pros and cons of flavor vapor. I don't know. It all leaks. You fill this up. And how you're supposed to fill this up is you close off your airflow, right? You close off your um you close off your your fluid, right? You take off your top tank, you fill it back up, you open your fluid so it can get down in here to your your wicks, right? Open up your airflow and it should be that easy. But it isn't, because as soon as you do that, you're going to watch your liquid boop, run the whole ways down, out of your airflow, and all over your mod, okay? And I would love to show you guys that just to prove my point, but I don't want to go through any more liquid, to be honest with you, not unless I'm vaping it. Okay, so... I watched a so I watched a video on how to wick this because maybe I was wicking it wrong and I was according to this guy okay and I wicked it the same as he did and as soon as I opened that airflow now did I maybe get a bad one probably maybe but if you're going to say it is a leakless system. You better make damn well sure that every tank that goes into a retail market out of a distributor is a fucking leakless system. I don't, and then another con, when you open this, you do not get a warranty. And they tell you. To learn more about Vapeston's products and how to use, please visit www.vapeston.com. And when you go to vapeston.com, they tell you on vapeston.com that they do not give a warranty with this because everybody's vape styles and it varies. So they believe in their product so much that it doesn't leak that they're not even going to give you a warranty with it. So now what do I have? A piece of fucking shit. And I have to hope and pray to God that high tech vapors will give me another one. And if they say no, I'm out 35 bucks. That's a con for me. 
You should be giving warranties. If you stand that much behind your product, you should say, hey, look, if anything goes wrong with this, because I guarantee it, I'll give it, I'll give you another one, or I'll refund your money. Blah blah blah. No warranty. None. It leaks like a fucking sieve. The drip tip gets really fucking hot. Why would you wrap a drip tip in metal any fucking way? Like, who designed this thing? Why couldn't you be like Limitless Eye Joy? The Cloud Beast. Smock. Just wick the motherfucker the way it's supposed, you know, a certain way and enjoy the vape. But no. I mean, look at the cloud that comes off of this cloud beast. I mean, seriously? Fucking seriously. You can't get that not to leak. And this gets, this has a nice big drip tip on it. Not metal. So yeah, everything about this is a con. I guess the way you have to wick it, if it's not wicked a certain way, it's going to leak. But it's a leakless system. I should be able to wick this like a normal RDTA. And I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. Okay. There's four holes on each side of the coil. You think that your cotton should go down inside of that coil. Because here's your little juice reservoir. It's going to follow down in here and it's going to sit in this cap. Therefore, then cotton comes, you know, the cotton pulls it back up to the wicks, keeps them wicked, right? Wrong. Wrong, no. No, apparently, you're supposed to just set the cotton on top of the hole. So I tried that. Didn't work. I have tried every wicking way that I could find on YouTube to get this to not leak and it all leaked. Every last one of it. So, you know, is it possible I got bad O-rings on it and with it? And it's all possible. Is it possible I just got a bad one? It's all possible. But why? I mean, if, I, I, I just don't, I, I don't get it. And if I am doing something wrong to anybody who watches these videos, please, please, you can send me an email at rpvapors27 at Yahoo. You can leave me a comment here. You can find me on Instagram, rpvapors. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because I would love to see how this works. And nobody of, of importance on YouTube has done a review on it yet. That I know of. Rip Trippers? Didn't find one. Big Lou? East Coast Reviews? Didn't find one. Vape Hagen? Or Vape Heathen? Vape? Vape? Him? Didn't find one. Run Good Vapes? Didn't find one. Zofi Vapes? Didn't find one. So, what am I doing wrong, YouTube? I don't know. Is this a buy it or don't buy it? Don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. To right now, to me, this is a piece of shit. And I'm going to keep reviewing. I'm going, you know, going over this device. I'm going to keep trying to get it to work. And if I do, I will put up a, you know, a part two to this video and show you how I got it to work. Okay, but right now this is a don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Don't buy it. Don't. Just don't. Leave it alone. There are other RDTAs out there. You know, they might be a little bit more pricey. And there's other ones around this price. You know, there's, uh, I think the Avocado, uh, a Tornado, you know. The, 
much better RDTAs than this right now at this point. Okay, like I said, if you guys find a way to get this to work, let me know, please. Huh? But that's all I have for you. Don't buy this stupid piece of shit. Everything about it, except for the way it looks, is a con. Um, everything. Every fucking thing. It shouldn't be that hard to get an RDTA to work. It just shouldn't be. I mean, seriously. So, that's all I have. My, my rant is done. Please like, follow, comment, subscribe. Especially comment. Teach me how to get this thing to work, guys. Please. And uh, that's all I have for you guys. So, this is RP Vapors. Keep people safe. Keep people vaping. Just not with that. And I'm out.